What's up guys and welcome to Ripping and Tearing Packs. If you're new to this channel, I welcome you here with open arms. Uh, this is a twice a week soccer unboxing channel where I open up anything soccer cards and soccer memorabilia. Um, usually these videos include me opening up hobby boxes, blaster boxes, and hanger packages and, and finds that again on eBay and whatnot. Long story short, I am so far behind because this is the first time I am recording videos in months and uh, I have a lot of mail to get through. So this is just gonna be a huge emptying out my mailbox <laughs> extravaganza episode. I know that there are some absolute bangers in these packages. I have no idea where they are. I also don't remember everything that, that I purchased either. I mean, these have been purchased from March, April, and May without me opening anything up. So uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see what we get. Um, but there's a few things I wanna mention before I start the video. If you like this content, make sure to do a few things. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube. That just makes sure that you get updated on any of the future videos I put out and the fun times that we have. And also make sure to like the video. Apparently, you know, it helps the algorithm and also lets me know you like the content that I put out. Look at this beautiful Holland card. Nine mint numbered to 150. I absolutely love this set. I love the man set. I love the set for football's finest with the fusion cards. They've been coming out with a lot of fantastic cards. And I think as I've mentioned here in prior videos, Holland cards right now are way cheaper than what they should be. So if you're a Holland fan, I know he played poorly last year. I firmly believe it was because he was injured and in poor form. That's a guy where if you find his card on a good spot, don't be afraid to pick yourself up a little Erlen Holland. And I never, and I mean never bought a Holland card at all last year or the year, you know, the year prior. Uh, just never, the price was way too much for the performance in my opinion. Um, I'll tell you this, prices are where I like them right now for him. Speak of the devils here, guys. Look at the prize footballers here. This is spectacular. Blue and gold. Nine mint here from Messi. I think these are numbered to 80, but I don't remember about the blue and gold because they all have different print runs. <laughs> And looky here, guys, Jamie Beno Gittens, 10 gem mint, a rookie here for him. And again, this is a blue and gold from him, a nice Borussia Dortmund product. Hey, you know, he's young, 18 years old or so. Borussia Dortmund just has the ability to pop out these spectacular young footballers, and I'm hoping he's one of the same. Look at this, 9 mint, 04 mega cracks here for Xavi. And look at this, Enzo Fernandez, 10 gem mint rookie here, number to 275. Now again, rumor has it, he was injured and playing with an injury all year this year. And so that may explain some of the poor play that we saw from Fernandez. So I don't know. I'm still cautiously optimistic that things may work out for him at Chelsea. Oh, baby. Look at this. Oof. I'll tell you one thing. This wrap has seen better days, this bubble wrap. I think every single one of those has been popped. <laughs> That's fine now because it did its job. It protected another PC item for me. It's the 2006 World Cup here. 10 Gem Mint Landon Donovan here for Team USA. That's just a nice looking card. I don't know if I mentioned it yet on this episode, but I am a fan of the Burnley Clarets, so I PC their cards. So you got a little Vatinho rookie here. This is number to 75, and James Trafford, who was woeful this season, but this is a red scope rookie here, number to 30. So rumor is he's on the way out with multiple bids from big clubs, like, you know, it's Newcastle, Chelsea, Bayern Munich now with Vincent Company over there. So I assume he'll be gone off of Burnley, but still, I just wanted to add it to the PC here because Burnley was in the Premier League this last year. And for those of you who have watched a few episodes, you know I love the PC, the 2014 Panini Prism World Cup set. And that's exactly what this card is. This is a host city card here of Brasilia. And again, this is number 299. I am in a huge accumulating phase here. I'm just trying to gather as many, I guess, quality and perhaps, you know, in good shape there, 2014 cards, so I can send a massive submission here to PSA. But this goes right to the PC for me. This is the first World Cup or the Prism World Cup set that came out with was a 2014 set. So it always has a little bit of that extra special value to it. 
look at this guys this is from the 06 world cup set this is again messi's first world cup and it's got messi on this particular card for those familiar this is from the panini candy set in order to actually receive these cards you actually had to be at a world cup game and it was given away for free as part of the candy that was given to everybody there in germany that attended one of these games so again the likelihood that you were able to get one of these cards you had to be at the game and let alone for it to be in good shape well Mean, it means that the candy and, and the and the packaging of the card had to be in good shape too. Look at this nine mint rookie here, green refractor from Stadium Club. Look at this to ninety nine of Jude Bellingham. Stadium Club Chrome is a spectacular type of card. I like it. I love the action photos they have there of the players and of Jude Bellingham. That's a spectacular card to get. Look at this, guys. A 9-mint Julian Alvarez Neon Green Shimmer Refractor. Again, Julian Alvarez, one of those young up-and-coming stars there um, for Man City here. A nice rookie of him. That's a beautiful card. Hold on a second. got a few things stacking here. Look at this little Jaden Sancho orange foil here from Topps. This is number 225. Again, he went ahead and just played himself a little Champions League final. Um, and, you know, they lost to Real Madrid, but still. Jaden Sancho maybe on his redemption arc. Who knows? We had one behind this. Holy shit, guys. Look at this 10 gem men. Iker Casillas blue pulsar here from the 2014 Panini Prism World Cup set. These blue Pulsar cards, I know they don't have them on the back, but they are a 55 print run for each one of these blue Pulsar cards. So this is just spectacular. That just goes right into the PC here for me. This is a big, big, big card, ladies and gentlemen. No idea what this is, but we shall see. I feel like I'm an arts and crafts class over here. Man, oh man, I'm struggling getting this box open. Look at these two holy grail pieces here from the 2014 Panini Prism World Cup set. You've got here, again, these green crystal cards are spectacular. The way that they just shimmer is beautiful. You've got here two gem mints here from Beckett, nine five gem mints for both of them. You've got one of these matchup cards here, Bastian Schweinsteiger here and Nani. And you've got Sammy Kadira here and Wesley Schneider. Holy crap, both numbered to 25. One is one of 25 and 19 of 25. Oh, oh my God. This is beautiful. I mean, these may be some of the best cards I've collected so far from this set. And, you know, no better time to open them up than this, I guess, unboxing extravaganza here today. Look at this. Another blue pulsar here from the 2014 Panini Prism World Cup set of Fernando Muslera. Looky here again. Another one numbered to 55 to add to the PC. My God. Look at this 1998 Johan Cruyff here, guys. Holy shit. That is a nice Johan Cruyff. I think this is the first ever Johan Cruyff that I've gotten here. And look at this Mkuku 9 Mint X Fractor here, numbered to 250 here. Another one of those Borussia Dortmund products. Again, just lost in the Champions League Finals. Looky here, too many 10 gem mint here. Merlin rookie, yellow refractor, yellow wave refractor, I'm sorry, number to 225 here. Again, Champions of Europe, too many is a great one to add there to the collection. 
Look at this 10 Gem Mint Rooney Bargali rookie card here. And again, it's a Wonder Kids here from Copenhagen, number to 150. Now, again, he played really well and scored quite a few goals against Manchester United. So you saw his card price skyrocket, but he is a young, he's a young kid and he did well kind of towards the middle of the season and he kind of started to cool off towards the end. But I think he's like 17 or 18 years old. So this is definitely one of those kids where if you find the card at the right price, don't be afraid to pull the trigger. Baby, Javi Simmons, nine mint here on the Aqua Speckle Refractor. Holy shit, guys. Again, Javi is if one of those kids that you can find here at a good price, pick yourself up a little Javi Simmons card. And again, this rookie here is numbered to 175. And look right after that, a nine mint here Speckle Rookie here from Merlin for Garnacho. Oh, look at these two beautiful rookie cards. <laughs> Great to have to the collection. Look at this Garnacho rookie guys here from the club's competition here. Number to 75 from Tops. Nice rookie there. And Mumkoko, 9-5 mint plus here rookie from Tops Finest, number to 125. Look at this, ladies and gents. A Luis Figo from the man, an autograph 10 gem mint number to 100. <sighs> That is beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hold on a second. I got to find a place to put this. Look at these from Futura. We've got here a Varadi and Bonucci 9 Mint Game Used Memorabilia. That is beautiful here. Um, okay, from Paris Saint-Germain, from PSG here, from Varadi. And this is from Bonucci back in 1617. And now we've got here an Olivier Giroud. And again, game used memorabilia. That is beautiful. It looks like we got red, white, and blue there on that. That's always neat. And this here is from 1314 in a Champions League match that he was playing for Arsenal. And then the other one was 1415 in a training match with Arsenal. This is a nice, I love the Futura. I love game used memorabilia. And these are quite some impactful players in their time. Guys, we're down here to our last package of the show for today. Thanks for sticking around. Hopefully we have something good for the last pack. A little last pack magic. Holy shit, guys. Luka Modric, nine mint purple prism from that 2014 Panini Prism World Cup set. Again, number to 99. This is 48 of 99 for little Luka Modric. Again, he's signed back for one more year with Real Madrid. Um, this is uh, this is spectacular. Thank you so much, guys, here for watching the video today. Um, we had some absolutely spectacular cards that we unboxed. And if you like this content, there's a few things that I encourage you to do. I encourage you to subscribe on YouTube so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and to like the video. That lets me know you enjoy what I'm putting out there and you enjoy the content I produce. And also it helps the algorithm. Thanks so much, guys, for watching the video. And we'll be with you real soon.